Hi guys, normally I do landlord stuff, and um, I just had some stuff on my mind. Last night I was watching some shows, I was up late, uh, non-verbal autistic uh, child, son, and he was up late, low insomnia, and I was watching one of these shows, nature shows, or science shows, whatever, and I know I've done a couple of these videos, one on Infinity that's, that's like driving me crazy about these super colliders and also about the huge problem where we have like microplastic in our gyres, the, the ocean gyres. And, but this one's a little different nature. It was, um, this guy was going through the, you know, a duality of, you know, trying to, uh, of uh, light particle, you know, particle and wave uh, of light. You know, the duality principle and stuff like that. And it just, I had to turn it off because, okay, I've had years of physics and I know about the classical thing. So I know some people are going to comment and say like, you know, you're an idiot. This is what we were taught in school. And, you know, and I've had years of math. I'm an engineer. I've, you know, I know the classical way of thinking. And I also know how the school system is very intellectually dishonest about uh, addressing questions and also being truthful about stuff. And one of the things is the difference between a description of something and understanding it. And everyone's got a lot of respect for Albert Einstein. I, I, I really don't. I hate to say that. I'm going to catch a lot of flack for that. But, uh, you know, he was a great mathematician. But math is just a language. It's a descriptive language. And to help approximate real life, it does it, all it does is describe. It doesn't help you understand, and it doesn't and it doesn't um, simulate what's really happening. And so, when I hear something like duality, a particle wave, there's a couple things come in to mind. One is there's no understanding with that. That's a description. That's like saying your car, like you know, like describe your car. You know, it's got what is a car? Well, it's got wheels, and it drives on the highway, and you can sit in it, it goes along. But it's not understanding of how it works, what it is, how it came along, the history, and everything about it. It doesn't say anything about the engine, the insides, you know. You, you know, the, the duality of a butterfly, uh, a butterfly-caterpillar duality. You know, it's, uh, we looked at it one time, and it's a butterfly. We looked at it another, it's a caterpillar. It was a caterpillar, then it was a butterfly. And then it was, you know, and it does, but there's no understanding of the process of what actually is happening. So, you know, now we have all of these theories and all of this stuff and people high up in the education system just regurgitating this crap and with no understanding of and asking real questions about stuff like they They lead you to believe like when you see light that the light is shooting out of the light bulb and going into your eyes because that's how it's described. That's how you do all the process of, um, you know, refraction or reflection and all of those things. That's how you figure that out. You know, the angle of the ray and this and that when there's not really a ray, you know, that's not what's happening. There's no photons shooting into the back of your skull and on the back of your eye or anything like that. Nothing is, you know, it doesn't work like that. Imagine a pond, and you, and you drop something in the center of the pond, and you're at the edge of the pond, and it looks like it's coming at you, and it has all the characteristics of something is coming towards you. This water, is, this wave is coming at you, but that's not what's happening. The, molecule, the molecules in the center of the pond, all, their, all they did was go down, the other ones go up, and... It's just like Tesla said, not Einstein. Einstein's kind of an idiot. Tesla, everything is frequency and vibration. And that's what it is. It's the perturbation in a field. That's the other thing, too. They, can't, they don't know how to describe a field. They, if you ask them to s describe a field, they couldn't tell you what the field is, what a field is. Now, they can do all this crazy mathematics and talk about crazy, I mean, absolutely nuts stuff, which everybody is like just gobbles down, like, like, um, uh, uh, space, the curvature of space, you know, like they don't even understand gravity. The curvature of space, you can't curve space, space is the absence of something, 
It's like saying your, uh, you know, your, sh your shadow is something that the, the curvature of your shadow, you know, that your shadow is the absence of something. Now, how it got to be that way or why it's behaving that way, that's something else. But you can't curve space. Space is the absence of something. It's a descriptor. It's not, um, it's not something, it's not a actual thing to curve. So, I mean, there's like major things like this that no one really addresses, you know, um, especially with light um, and duality, which it just basically means we don't understand what the hell is going on. So let's make this complicated theory and we'll make it, you know, and they make it sound like fact. And it's not. It's not fact. You know, if you say anything is a duality, then you really, you just don't understand it. You know, that's what it is. I mean, duality it equals confusion.